Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an animation in Photoshop. Now a lot of people know that you can open photos in Photoshop, but you might not have known that if you take a .movie file and just open it or drag it into Photoshop, Photoshop can also read these, an these animated uh, files. It looks like an original photo when you open it, but you can see by the layer palette that it has this little movie reel here which means that it's animated and the way we can get to those options is going to window and opening the animation palette this allows us to use this timeline scrubber here to go back and forth through our video so as you can see I have this 18 second long clip of just some clouds that I got from a stock video website now this blue line here is the amount of the video that we want to actually use. So everything within this highlighted region is all that Photoshop is going to save if I tell it to. And we can move it and position it to wherever we like. So let's say I only want to capture this three seconds from five to eight seconds here of the video and work with that. All I have to do is drag these blue lines and capture that in. Now here we have some options for adjusting the position, opacity, and other things over time with something that um, is called keyframes. So let's say I want to adjust the opacity of this layer so that it goes in and out of uh, visibleness. All I have to do is click this stopwatch on the opacity and you can see this little diamond here is called a keyframe. Now if I create a keyframe of this layer oops not position if I create a keyframe of this player, layer at zero opacity and then I go to the end of the clip here with the stopwatch still highlighted and create it a keyframe at 100% opacity you can see that it will take whatever's within and blend those together so it, it it linearly progresses from 0 to 100 on the other hand if you want it to just flash from 0 to 100 without any of the percentages in between you can right click on the keyframe and change it from linear to hold and that way it will just do that flash without any linear progression but I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these keyframes because I want to keep the clouds how they are but to demonstrate I'm going to add some text over this and I'm just gonna write my YouTube channel here just as good so let's say I want to create a short little animated image of my name here and I want this text to flash in and out just like with the movie clip you can add keyframes to regular layers so if I click this drop down menu here on the animation timeline I have all the same options that I did with the movie position opacity style you can get really creative with this so let's create one keyframe at the very beginning of our clip or our portion of the clip that we highlighted for opacity and put it at zero. Now let's go to the middle of our clip, put it at 100. And now let's go back to the end of our clip and put it back to zero. So what this should do is make it so that my name flashes in and out. So if I click play here, I can preview it. It goes a little slow because Photoshop is going to load it, but you see this little green line or like uh, aqua looking line. Once it loads, Photoshop will play it a little bit faster. To reduce the file size of this GIF right now, I'm going to go to image, image size, and reduce it by a lot just so it's considerably easier to load and demonstrate for you. You can use whatever size you want and are happy with. But once you're happy with your final GIF, the way to save it is by going to File, Save for Web and Devices. 
This will allow us to save it as an animation rather than just a picture. And when you do this, a box and a menu should open up and you have all these options here. What you want to do is select this drop down menu and make sure you have GIF selected. Photoshop has a lot of presets for you and I'm just going to use the GIF 128 dithered which gives you pretty good quality. Now as far as looping in the bottom right corner you should see looping options. You can loop it once, forever, or other and set how many times but I think most people want it to loop forever. Once you're happy with this go ahead and click save and specify a location so I'm going to name it clouds animation on my desktop. Now as you can see it's on my desktop so let's go ahead. So as you can see here's the final GIF that I can upload to any image websites and post on websites however I want. And I'm sure you can get creative with this and hopefully you've learned about Photoshop's power and capability to animate things as well as edit photos. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and check out my channel for more tutorials. Uh, send me a message or leave me a comment if you had any problems or questions with anything or if you wanted to see anything in the future regarding Photoshop. Until next time, Justice Good.